Good Saturday morning, everyone. How's it going? We've got a little bit of a modified schedule this week because, well, we thought we were going to have a game on Sunday, and we don't. So I wanted to discuss something. I wanted to use this little bit of extra time we have in some way to discuss this team, discuss where they're going, discuss what's going on with this this coaching staff, this roster. So I was trying to think about what I could do because obviously a Tuesday game is not something you expect. Normally I would be doing my pregame video here, but I can't do a pregame video yet because we don't even know who's going to play in that game. The Rams, uh, they could have everyone or no one or half the ones. I'm not going to do the pregame video yet when I don't know who's going to play. But I do want to talk about something bigger picture with this team right now. I know all eyes are on the uh, uh, COVID tests that are coming out of LA and possibly coming out of Seattle as well with Lockett and uh, Collins and some of the other players as well because they may end up catching it. But I want to um, turn the focus for a video to bigger picture things than just one game because the big picture is important and I think we all understand that even if you win this game on Tuesday against the Rams or even if you force them to forfeit or they play some uh, group of scabs and get blown out because of course they're going to get blown out because they're scabs. <laughs> the playoffs are a long shot and I'm still thinking big picture here. So I was watching some uh, Bad Dog videos lately. He's a Giants fan, Giants YouTube uh, maker. He's been making videos for longer than I have. And I've been making videos since 2007. So he's been around a long time, long time content creator for the Giants. He was doing trash talk circle stuff before, uh, I mean, back when that was a thing. And then he kind of switched around and became more of just a Giants fan discussing stuff on his YouTube channel. So he's been around and he was talking about the Giants and he asked the question, which players on the Giants have gotten better from last year to this year? And that got me thinking about the Seahawks because I asked the same question of the Seahawks. And I think it's actually a really good way to evaluate how your coaching staff is doing. Are they developing players? It's a good way to evaluate your front office. Are they getting players that have upside that will be realized over time? So I asked the question, and I ask you the question now, who on this team has gotten better from last year to this year? This uh, spreadsheet's a little out of date. It's uh, got a couple of things that need to be updated, but nothing that actually matters for the point of this video. So. I'm going to go through this roster, I'm going to go player by player, and I'm going to ask, who do we have who is better in 2021 than 2020? Keeping in mind, we had a decent offseason. We had, it, it wasn't like 2020, it, maybe it wasn't the perfect offseason because there was still some COVID stuff going around, but it was still a reasonable offseason. Okay, let's go down the list. Russell Wilson? Nah, he's he's... He's way worse. He was 40 touchdowns last year. This year, I know he got hurt, but this year, I don't know if he gets to 25. In fact, he probably doesn't. He might not even get to 20. Numbers down pretty much across the board. And there are a lot of reasons for that. I don't think that's completely unreasonable. He is trying to learn a new offense, but he's not better. Chris Carson, definitely not better. Rashad Penny, I, I guess he played this year. He's better because he only touched the ball like, what, 10 times last year, but he's not better than he was in 2019 last time he was actually playing real snaps. I don't think so. Alex Collins, he looks about the same to me. DJ Dallas, not better. Travis Homer, eh, maybe a little bit better. We mostly just put him in better situations. He bulked up a little bit. Okay, maybe Travis Homer, but he's still just a third down back and special teamer. Like, if... It, if he's better, it's by this much. It doesn't help us win that. It doesn't flip the needle. It doesn't move the needle. DK Metcalf, if anything, he's worse. I don't really think it's his fault. There are a lot of things going on there. He didn't get to play with his quarterback for three and a half games, but Metcalf, if anything, he regressed. 
Lockett, eh, maybe Lockett's a little bit better this year compared to previous years. Okay, Lockett. Let, let, let's uh, put that one in the back of our heads for a second here and come back to it later. Freddie Swain, he doesn't look better. He's putting up slightly better numbers, but he just gets to play more. He doesn't look better. He's not. He's less efficient. And I don't see anything there that tells me he's part of the future. Penny Hart, not better. Gerald Everett, he wasn't here last year, but if you compare him to his last year in L.A., he's not better. Will Disley, not better. Not worse. About the same. Just the same guy. Not better. Colby Parkinson, nothing. Nothing from Colby. Um, he didn't really nothing last year. He's done very little this year. I, I don't think he's gotten better. And if he has gotten better, it's by such a small amount, it doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. Dwayne Brown, way worse. <laughs> way worse. I think I think we can all agree on that. Damian Lewis, worse. Mostly because you switched positions, but hey, that was a coaching decision. Damian Lewis looks worse. Ethan Posick, eh, he looks better than he did in the second half of the year last year, but not better than he was the first half. Overall, I'd say he's not better, but he's not worse. He's just Ethan Posick. Kyle Fuller, worse. And that's an achievement because Kyle Fuller last year wasn't good. And this year, somehow, he got worse. That's that's not easy to do. Gabe Jackson, I don't think he's better than he was the last year he was in uh, Vegas. I, if anything, I think he probably got a little worse. He's still good. Didn't get better. Brandon Shell stayed the same. Didn't get better. That's, that's the whole offense. That's uh, pretty much everything on this offense. Like what, I'm going to talk about like Adrian Peterson or... Um, Philip Dorsett? No. Come on. Come on, guys. So, the only guys on offense who got better from last year to this year are Travis Homer, who is a glorified fullback, third down backs, decent pass blocker. More than anything, I think we just put him in positions to succeed. We don't give him the ball on third and 25. We actually put him in situations where he can affect the game positively. And he did bulk up. Okay. That helps you this much. And Lockett, I mean, Lockett's a veteran. Do we think that this coaching staff was able to, like, suddenly this offseason groom Lockett into a better player and they, they, they unlocked some final little vestige of talent in him that allowed him to become what may end up being like a 1,400-yard receiver this year? No. He just, he's just having a better year. I don't think he, I don't think he's a better player. He's just having a better year because he's getting the ball thrown his way a little bit more. There's no coaching development there. I don't see a young guy that they're turning his career around on. I don't see a guy they're developing. He's just putting up better stats. And that goes to the defense, okay? And this is the area where it's really kind of crucial to look at it because the defensive coaching crew has been in place for a while, okay? The defensive coaching crew has been in place for a while. Carroll, Norton, those guys have been there for a while. The offense... They have a new offensive coordinator. They would have a little bit more of an excuse for some of these guys looking a little worse. That's a little more understandable, especially when your quarterback gets hurt. But look at this defense, okay? Carlos Dunlap, um, <laughs> do I even have to say it? The dude fell off a cliff. Way worse. Alton Robinson, he didn't develop. He doesn't look better. If anything, I see a player who looks a little worse. Uh, you can't say he's better. I, I actually think he was way more efficient last year. Benson Mayoa went from a half-decent pass rusher last year to an anonymous linebacker who constantly drops into coverage and never impacts the game. I don't think he's better. He's probably worse. Al Woods, okay. He's better. Now, he didn't play last year, but last time he played was 2019 for the Seahawks. He looks better now than he did then. So, okay. Add Al Woods to the list. Add him to the list for a moment. Brian Monet... He plays more. He puts up more stats. Is he actually better? Did he improve? PFF actually thinks he's gotten a lot worse. So I don't know. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Maybe he's playing through some injuries and that's interfering with his play. I don't know. But I don't get the impression that Brian Monet is going to be some integral part of this defense going forward. So if he is developing, it's by a very marginal amount. Puna Ford? Puna Ford looks worse. I don't think it's... Well... He is, his weaknesses are more pronounced because we moved him to 3-tech. 
if we had left him at one tech, he would probably be having a great season and we'd be like, yeah, that guy looks at least as good as he was last year, probably better. But we moved him to three tech, so he actually looks worse. I don't think he is worse, but he's not better. LJ Collier, uh, last year at least he played, at least he started, at least he grinded. He grinded out decent stats, made some impact on the game. This year you were talking about how, oh, we're going to... We're going to really uh, count on this guy to be an uh, impact player for us, and you don't play him. I don't know if he got worse, but he certainly has less impact. He's not better. If he got better, he would be playing. Kerry Hyder wasn't here last year, but worse. He was a really good player for the Niners last year. He averaged like two pressures a game. He had eight sacks when uh, they had to replace Bosa. This year, he's not a bad player, but he regressed, if anything. Rasheem Green? Rasheem Green is just Freddie Swain on the defense. His numbers are a little bit better, but he didn't get better. He just got more snaps. He's playing a billion snaps this year to barely produce replacement level numbers. He's... I don't think he's better. Maybe you could say Rasheem Green's a little bit better, but even if he is, he's not part of this defense's long-term plans. That is a... What was he, a third-round pick? Third-round pick, you spend... And does this guy look like he's going to be the five tech of the future? Does this guy look like he's the next Michael Bennett? No, he should be out of here after this year. Or if he comes back, it should be on a minimum contract where he doesn't have to play and it's cool. Didn't get better. If he did, marginally. Bobby Wagner, I'm not better, not worse, don't get me wrong. I mean, you can't get that much better than what Bobby was doing at his age. But not better. Cody Barton basically doesn't play on defense. Still a good special team player, but he was that last year too. Not better, just kind of there. Another wasted third round pick, by the way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't see any reason to believe he's ever going to be a starter on defense in the NFL. Not better. Jordan Brooks. Okay, we got a little something here. Is he actually better or does he just play more? I'll be on the side of caution here and say, okay, Jordan Brooks is a player who is genuinely improved at least some he's still not great still has real holes in his game that i don't think he's ever going to be able to overcome but he's probably a little bit better okay jordan brooks that's a good one nick Ballore, same guy not better not worse does his job fine i guess daryl taylor's better right like uh daryl taylor he didn't play last year so by default i guess he's better but uh that's not really what we're looking for now is it okay dj reed about the same I don't think he got better. I don't think he got worse. Trey Flowers didn't get better. Kicked him off the team after a few weeks after counting on him to be our starter. If anything, he got worse. I don't know if he did, but he definitely didn't get better. He didn't progress. Sidney Jones. All right. We found one. Sidney Jones. Now, he wasn't here last year, so it's not like we have a line to follow, a, a through line to follow where Carroll takes him here and he gets there, but... Compared to how he was playing last year in Jacksonville to how he's playing so far this year, he probably got better. Okay, so there's one. There's one I can't really take anything away from because Sidney Jones is legitimately playing really good football lately. Okay, we found one that I can't take anything away from. He is legitimately playing better. And not only did he improve from last year to this year, but he improved from two months ago to now significantly. Marquise Blair... Uh, not better. I, I get, maybe he got maybe better just because he took longer to get injured, but I don't see any reason to believe he's better. If it is, it's marginal. Ugo Amadi looks like the same guy to me overall. Not didn't improve, didn't develop. Jamal Adams looks worse. If anything, last year at least he was making a lot of plays in the backfield. This year he's just uh, for the most part he's just a decent deep safety. We don't blitz him. He doesn't have a big impact on the blitz this year. Ryan Neal, uh, too early to say maybe, but I don't think he looks better. Maybe about the same, maybe slightly better. I don't see it. Quandre Diggs, I don't think he got better. I, I, I mean, he's good, right? Like, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not bashing Diggs for not improving. He is what he is. And what he is is a pro bowler. He's probably going to make the pro bowl this year, just like he did last year. But he didn't get better. Special teams, let's just, uh, while we're here, Jason Myers, <laughs> definitely not better, worse. Michael Dixon, I don't think he got better, I think he stayed about the same, and 
That's cool because he might be the best punter in the league. But I'm not here to bash these players. I'm not saying that Dixon, I, I don't like him because he didn't improve from last year to this year. I'm saying, look at this list of players. Who got better? All right. Okay, Al Woods, again, Al Woods is a longtime NFL veteran. I don't think Pete Carroll was able to dig down deep into this uh, guy who didn't totally know how to bring out all his talent, didn't totally know how to apply proper technique, and was just able to get all this great stuff out of Al Woods. He, he's just happening to have a really good year. It's a good situation. Maybe there's a little bit of stuff going on there, but I don't think that Pete Carroll suddenly pulled a bunch of magic out of a 34-year-old defensive tackle who had been around the block. Hmm. I, I don't, I, I can only give Carroll so much credit there. Now, good on the front office for signing him. Good on Carroll for making that decision because that's worked out great. But I don't really think that he's a player you could count in this discussion when we're evaluating our team's ability to develop talent. Brian Monet, like I said, maybe he's a little bit better. It's not significant. Rasheem Green, maybe he's a little bit better, but he's not good enough to belong in the big boy leagues. He's a jag. He's, like I said, Freddie Swain, but he plays defense instead of offense. And I don't want him here next year. He, he shouldn't be a starter. He shouldn't be a big time player. Like he, he's, he's just a guy. He's just a guy. Even if you did develop him, it was by this much. So Jordan Brooks, Sidney Jones, and Travis Homer. Uh, you, you guys see what I'm getting at here? Why aren't these players developing? There were some guys on this team that we were legitimately excited about from last year. Young guys who we thought were going to be part of the future. Alton Robinson. Uh, he looks about the same to me. You could even argue he's been less efficient this year. Last year, he had a big impact on minimal snaps. This year, he, it's not happening. If anything, he's regressed, like I said. Okay, a lot of us were really excited about Jordan Brooks. And I'll give you this. He's had a decent year. He's progressed. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of credit for that. But does he look like the next Le Darius Leonard? Does he look like the next Lance Briggs? No. I see a guy who's very limited in some areas and capable in others. And he'll probably be a competent starter for a while in the NFL. But I'm not seeing the development into making him a pro bowler. Puna Ford. Really excited when we moved him to 3-tech. I thought we saw something there. But he's a worse pass rusher this year than he was last year, probably. If this is not damning for a front office and coaching staff, I don't know what is. Who's better? I'm not seeing a whole lot. See you guys later. Go Hawks. We got some games today, but uh, seriously... Who's developing in a positive direction on this team from last year to this year?